Hello everyone and welcome to today's video on military time conversion. I am Bryn and I am with On The Clock's customer experience team and we're going to dive a little bit deeper into what exactly military time is and how to convert between military and standard 12 hour time. So military time, what is it exactly? So military time is a 24 hour time clock format where it measures the time of day anywhere from 0 hundred hours to 2400 hours, rather than using two sets of 12 hours with AM or PM after the listed time. So you will notice at the bottom that there's an example of a military time clock and a 12 hour time clock. So you might be used to the normal 12 hour time clock where it starts with one all the way around and it goes to 12. And that would have AM after the first set of revolution of time. And then when you go into the next set of time, it would have PM after it. We're military, instead of starting over once you've hit 12, going to one, it actually is gonna continue on from 12 to 13, all the way up till 24. So I have an example for you. For 12 a.m., how would you write this in military time? So you would write 12 a.m. as 0000 or 2400. And you would say this as 0 hundred hours or 2400 hours. So the reason why there are two options here is because both are acceptable. Typically though, you would see the 0 hundred hours used maybe to indicate the start of the day where 2400 hours is maybe gonna try to indicate something that happened at the end of the day. So either way, both are acceptable to use. 1 a.m. would be written as 0 100 and you would say this as 0 100 hours. 2 a.m. would be written as 0 200, and you would say this as 0 200 hours. And at 3 a.m., you would write this as 0 300, and you would say this as 0 300 hours, and so on, all the way until 12 p.m. So for 12 p.m., it's gonna stay the same. It would be written as 1 200, and you would say this as 1200 hours. So with military time, you'll notice starting at 1 p.m., that the military time is now going on to 13. So for 1 p.m., you would write this as 1300, and you would say this as 1300 hours. 2 p.m., you would write this as 1400, and you would say this as 1400 hours. And 3 p.m., you would write this as 1500, and say this as 1500 hours, and so on. So here are some tricks for easily converting between these time formats. So let's take for example, if you're converting 12 hour time to military time, you can actually just simply add 1200 to the time shown if it's between 1 p.m. and 11.59 p.m. And then alternatively, if you're converting military time to 12 hour time, you can just subtract 1200 from the time shown if it is between 1300 and 23.59. So let's go ahead and let's use that trick. So let's start out with 5 p.m. So let's convert 5 p.m. to military time. Go ahead and start out by writing 5 o'clock or 5 colon 0, 0. Add 12 o'clock or 12 to it. And now you get 1700. And you would write this as 1700 and pronounce this as 1700 hours. Now let's go ahead and convert 1700 hours to 12 hour time. So we'll go ahead and start out by writing 1700. Now we're gonna subtract 1200 from it. We are left with 0, 0500. So you would write this as five colon zero zero PM and you would say this as five o'clock PM. So let's see when the trick does not apply. So let's go ahead and convert 9 AM to military time. So because this is not after one o'clock in the afternoon or 1 PM, there's no need to add or subtract 12. So we'll go ahead and start out with writing nine o'clock AM and you're just simply going to drop the colon, the AM, and write 0, 0900. Now let's convert 0, 0900 to 12 hour time. So we're just gonna convert it back. So we're gonna start with 0, 0900, and then add the colon in, add your AM to indicate the morning, and you would write this as 9 colon 0, 0 AM, and you would say this as 9 o'clock AM. Let's go ahead and test your knowledge now. So I do have a couple of Example problems here, go ahead, feel free to pause this video, try this out on your own. Go ahead and write out what you think would be the proper way to convert this and then how you would say this. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what you got. So here are the answers. So if you were converting 6.37 a.m. to military time, you would write this as 0637. 
and you would say this as 0637 hours. If you are converting 0217 to 12 hour time, you would write this as 217 a.m. and you would pronounce this as 217 a.m. If you're converting 1122 p.m. to military time, you would write this as 2322 and you would say this as 2322 hours. If you are converting 1925 hours to 12 hour time, you would write this as 7.25 p.m. And you would say this as 7.25 p.m. If you were to convert 12 a.m. to military time, you would write this as 0000 or 2400 and say this as 0 hundred hours or 2400 hours. So again, remember with that one, either of those options are acceptable. And then last but not least, we have to convert 1208 to 12 hour time. So you would just write this as 1208 and you would say this as 1208 p.m. So now that you're an expert in converting, maybe you want a little bit of help with a calculator. So we do have on our website, go to ontheclock.com and under the more section, we have free tools. Go ahead and click on the military time converter option that we have and you'll be brought into our help page. So in here, it's gonna give you a little bit of help on how to convert these times, just like how we talked about. But we also have under method one, use our 12 hour time and military time converter. So what you can do is just enter those times that you're looking to convert. You can do military to 12 hour, or you could do 12 hour to military time. It really doesn't matter. And you can actually just go ahead and click on that swap button if you would prefer to change the format that it's viewing in. You can enter it with the colons like this, or you can also take the colons out. It doesn't matter. We'll go ahead and auto populate that for you. And you can even do midnight. So thank you so much for watching guys. If you found this video to be incredibly helpful, please be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Uh, go ahead and like, and subscribe to our YouTube page. And also if you want to go ahead and test the expert that you are, go ahead and down below in the link, there's a quiz for you that you can go ahead and take and see how well you know military time conversion. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next one.